guys, I hope all is well. I wanted to share this quick spiritual thought that was on my mind. I don't know about you, but if you can look around, you can see that there's a lot of things that are taking place. A lot of good things that God is doing. A lot of businesses are manifesting. A lot of new things are coming along. And God is manifesting a lot of his promises in this season. It's almost to the point where it can be overwhelming, right? And sometimes we can get comfortable in what God is doing now. And God is still in a place where he's trying to prepare us for the next assignment. And that's the question I want to ask to you today. Are you ready for your next assignment? I was thinking about this passage in 1 Kings 19 when God comes to Elijah. And he says, Elijah, what are you doing here? Elijah had just finished a major battle. He had finished something where he, he achieved a great victory, right? And then he finds himself in this cave and God is like, what are you doing here? Like, Elijah, what are you doing here? And he's not talking about necessarily the location or the place. It's like, why are you in this spiritual defeat when all of these victories I have already laid up in store for you? Like, like what's going on? And sometimes that happens where when we're, we're dealing and we're, and we're having a lot of a lot of things going on, a lot of victories, but yet we find ourselves in this place of, I don't know, it's like depression or a form of, of defeat, and you kind of have to uh, get yourself out of that. So I preached this message in 2017 about winning the war within and how you can't fight what's in your mind with what, what's, what's in your mind. Like, you got to be able to, uh, you know, armor yourself with weapons with the Word of God. And a lot of times when you're transitioning seasons, you've got to let go of some of the habits that you had in the last season because it just didn't work. And so as you're embracing this new season and in preparation for what, so you want, what God wants to do next, it's like, maybe I need to make some preparation and change some things and shift some things, right? But I, going back to this passage, I thought it was so interesting. Here he is in this cave, right? And... And he's in this place where he's a little discouraged, he's exhausted, and a little overwhelmed, right? And here he was, kind of defeated about this moment when God had already had his next assignment prepared for him. Wow. Like, he already has something laid up in store for Elijah to do next. And, and, and God couldn't do anything with Elijah until he, comes to the, he came to the realization, like, Elijah... What are you doing here? This is not your place. This is not where you're supposed to operate in defeat. No, I have victory for you. I have things that I need for you to go out and, and accomplish on my behalf and in my name. Like, no, I, it, it, whatever I call you to do, I, there will be victory waiting for you. You don't need to be afraid. And sometimes what happens is we experience one level of victory and then it's like there's another battle that we have to face where it's something bigger. I'll give you an example. A couple of weeks ago, um, I was in the car with my wife, Deborah, and I, I was presented with something that was bigger than where I, you know, the, 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 the victory I just had. Right. And so I said to her, I said, do I have enough favor for that? <laughs> <laughs> and my wife was like, yeah, like whatever God calls you to do, he's going to fund it. He's going to favor you with it, right? So I think it's funny how we often, we deal with those moments. But as you're moving and as you're preparing for the next thing, remember that whatever God has called you to do, he is faithful to finish it. So arm yourself with weapons. Change the habits of, of what you used to do in 2020 and, and, and adjust yourself to where you are now because there are greater things that God has for you and he wants to prepare you for your next assignment.